Hello y'all and welcome to Zoo. Today's Zoo, we're going to turn some shop in the 26th of the 11th Treasury Fearless Challenge Shop. So if my voice sounds a bit weird, I'm currently a bit sick right now. First we have the Optimus Primal Bundle back. We have the Optimus Primal skin from Chapter 14 3. This season, this skin hasn't been back since uh, Chapter 4, season 3 at the start of it, so that's pretty cool. He's uh, He has a built in emote and he also comes with the Maximum Emblem Backling. Max Animal Emblem Backlit, it's pretty nice. It's just it's like Optimus Prime's backbling, but for for like the animal Autobot so kind of. Then we have the Sonic Swords from Chapter 3. It has reactivity off at its style. I think the reactivity of I'm is when you hit. Yep, it is. It like goes like that. And then we have the Go Primal built in emote for Optimus Primal. It's pretty nice. All sold separately. But it might be if you were gonna buy it, just buy the whole bundle. Then we have the Cheekers OG Locker Bundle. It's brand new. It comes with the Nodrop skin from Season 1. Pretty nice skin. Then we have the Pink Flamingo from Season 1. And find the Cloud Strike Glider from Season 1. It's very nice. And it's also animated, if the lightning will show. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's also sold separately too. Then we have the Graphs G OG Lotter Bundle. We have the Wukong Sin from Sin 2. We have the Royal Flags Battling from Sin 3. It's pretty nice. Wukong was one of those skins that was released before Battlings were added, and then it was given a Battling when Battlings were added. It's pretty nice. Then we have the Rainbow Smash from Sin 3. It's reactive. I'm correct. It's from Kills. Yep, it's from Kills. Like the, the horn will light up on like that, right there, here. And then we have the Royal Drag Glider from Sin 3. It's pretty nice. Probably a solid bundle if you want some really nice cosmetics. Also, so be too. Then we have the paid off emote back from Travel Season 3. Pretty nice. Then we have reanimated back from Season 3. Then we have the Marked Man bundle with the Grimmy skin from Chapter 6. We have the Glumbo back lane. Grimmy is reactive, with every time you kill someone, a little soul will be added. You can see it's just been added there. And then the drum, the Glumbo battling will do like the chomp with the little lines on the side when you get a kill. Then we have the Graphite Axe in Chosen 6. Then we have the Drip Dropper from Chosen 6. Pretty nice glider. Then we have the Grimmel's uh, Rat from Chosen 6. It is animated and reactive to, I think, kills. I think it is. Yeah, it's kills. And then we have the pen and ink powers from children to six. You can see uh, the drip dropper looks like it's been held hostage here by Wimmy or how he says his name. But yeah, it's been nice. Also, obviously, too, besides the loading stream, like always. Then we have the red jade skin back to what we next. It's a skin that's absolutely really good because of how many stars it comes with. It comes with the. Blue Jade edit style looks pretty nice, and the Mighty Monster edit style looks pretty nice, like a Halloween skin combined with a regular skin. It's really nice. Then we have Blinding Lights back for Chapter 2 Season 4. Then we have Intensity back from Season 5. Then we have the Brat Bundle with the Brat skin from Chapter 2 Season 1. He comes with the hat off edit style. Then we have the Loose Links Concha from Chapter 1. The only way to get it is to buy the Brat skin, sadly. Then we have the Duffle Dog from Chapter 7. I think that's surprising a lot of edit styles. It has the Chili Duffle Dog, the Mustard Duffle Dog, the Classic Duffle Dog, and the Deluxe Duffle Dog. It's pretty nice. And then we have the Not Was RP uh, Dexter Machine Night. It's really nice. Also, Sibley 2. Oh no, they didn't decide to sell the pickaxe and battle it probably. Then we have the the blot. <laughs> I butchered that so much. Diabolical bundle. Diabolical. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, diabolical. So I did not read right now. My bad. It comes with the mallet skin from Z8 with the mallet wins back plane. Pretty nice skin. Then we have Dominion from Chapter One with the frame signal back plane. I remember when everyone loved this back plane, but it's a bit underused now. Then we have the Burning Ads from Scene 8. Then we have the Burning Blades from Scene 1. Then we have the Burning Beast from Scene 1. This glide is very mature because of how it looks. Apparently it took too steady for little Timmy. And finally we have the Burning Glyph Rat from Scene 1. All sold separately too. Yeah. Then we have the Royal Originals bundle back. We have the Veteran 
Remedy Stinford showed four fun fact all the, the like the chapter one defaults. That's why when you click the default, it doesn't show these ones. So we have the vintage remedies, like I just said, from Shim Shun 4. She has the camo edit style. Then we have the Vanguard Bashy Stin from Shun 4 with the camo edit style. Then we have the Wild Strike 1 Stin from Shun 4 with the camo edit style. And finally, the Headhunter Prime Stin from Shun 4 with the camo edit style. Then we have the Barrel Classics bundle with Jonesy the First from Shun 4. Sadly, the Stin does not have any edit styles. Then we have the Hawk Classics from Shun 4. We have the camo edit style, and we have the original Renegade from Shin 4 with the camo edit style, and finally the Rookie Spit 5 from Shin 4 with the camo edit style. You get them all sold separately, plus the OG Glider from Shin 4. Sadly, the pickaxe was like a timed exclusive, it was for free, and it's called the Throwback Axe. It's pickaxe right here. Yeah, sadly, you can't get it anymore, but yeah, they're all sold separately too. Then we have the Surf Witch Bat from Captain 3, she comes with the Surf Demon edit style. She comes with the Star Power Backling. Then we have the Star Struck Axe from 3. It is active for uh, eliminations. It's animated. Then we have the Memento Moro uh, bundle with the Grave Hearts in it. I've always seen one, so I've had butchered that name. It, she comes with the Ghost Light edit style. She also comes with the Winds of Woe Backling. With the Ghost Light edit style. Then we have her pickaxe being the Plum Talon from Shuffle Force in 1. It has the Ghost Light edit style. It's also animated. And then we have the Silver Dredge rap, uh, rap from Shuffle Force 1. Since it's an uncommon rap, there's nothing really special about it. All sorts of too. Pretty forgettable set, but yeah. And then we have Optimus Prime for some reason has been moved down here. And for no crew. So yeah, that's as I'm sure the highlight is. Optimus Prime was back. And. We have the brand new Cheetah's OG Lotter Bundle and the Graf Cheetah's OG Lotter Bundle. So I'll see you guys next year. Goodbye.